Louisiana Beer Review's founders, the amazing Cosmickey's KBS Hazelnut Imperial Stout Aged in Bourbon Barrels, 12% alcohol. Um, bottled January 26, 2022. Malt beverage, here's the official disclosure. Malt beverage with natural and artificial Malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors. Imperial stout with chocolate and hazelnut coffee aged in oak bourbon barrels. So the, the official description is malt beverage brewed with natural and artificial flavors. Well, I paid $20.99 for this four pack. Is that the most I've ever paid for a malt a premium malt beverage with natural and artificial flavors. I suppose so. Uh, now I get the Four loco, 14%. Many of those have artificial and natural flavors. And artificial, you know, coloring with certified color. All right. $5.25 a bottle, pretty much. Uh, yeah, um, something's telling me this is going to come out a little nicer than the Four Locos. Gets a 94 out of 100 on Beer Advocate. 99 out of 100 on Rape Beer so far. 81 in the style. So in the style they say eh, it's good, I guess. But overall it's world class in their opinion. And then... 83 out of 100 on untapped beige head, very dark brown appearance, basically looks like it's black. All right. Artificial flip. Okay, well, it doesn't matter really. It should matter. I guess it's sort of like the uh, those little containers of the instant coffee that had all the different flavors. I think there was a hazelnut flavor, not true and not a natural flavor. I can't remember. International. They used to advertise it on television. I don't know. Mm, smells like a. Very dark roasted barley malt and uh, hazelnut flavoring. Powder nut, you know, like dehydrated nuts and powder. Um, not picking up any bourbon barrel though at all. If you gave this to me cold and I didn't know what it was, I would not say barrel age, no way. And I don't know whose bourbon barrels they're using. Heaven Hill, I hear people say. Cheers, let's go with the taste. Dark roasted barley malt, but not burnt. Unbelievable. It's second time. Um Second time in a row. Um, yeah, 45 IBU. Sorry for that. Um, it wouldn't have rang if I wouldn't have done the video. Heavy bodied. It's over 300 calories per bottle. Velvety in the mouth feel. Making me crack up. semi-dry finish. Now on the sweetness scale I'd say three and a half out of five sugar cubes. 
It's a dessert beer. Bitterness scale. I'll go three out of five hop cones. So three and a half sweetness, three and a half out of five hop cones. They don't list the hops. Um, yeah, it's a thick chocolatey taste in vanilla taste in hazelnut taste in dessert beer. I mean, 12%, it's not presenting any alcohol, alcohol really, which is nice. Um, once every two weeks I could take the, drinking this, um, I guess. I got three more bottles. I, I don't know how somebody could drink this kind of stuff all the time. I mean, it's just too rich, it's too heavy bodied, it's too much alcohol, etc., etc. But for what it is, and it's made for what it is, it's not made to be an everyday standby beer. Um, I don't see any reason not to go ninety-nine. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a rate beer, ninety-nine out of one hundred, and a ninety-nine out of one hundred in the style because it exists within its style. Style, and I have not tasted all the other pastry imperial pastry stouts anyway so i couldn't really make a comparison i can only compare it to what i've had which is a pretty good amount and it's definitely at or above most of them but not quite at the level of the mackinaw stout which was 100 but it's very close that was also using artificial flavor and i'm not trying to um like obsess over that i don't really care honestly that stuff's not dangerous uh it just I don't know, it's like if you bought a really expensive car and, it, and you found out they were using a imitation leather on some parts of it, you'd say, oh, I couldn't use real leather, you know, but um, even though it might look fabulous, you know, and, and it might be as, as durable as the leather, but um, yeah, so an A plus outstanding Imperial Stout. I'm looking forward to trying the other three. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Michigan and tour the Founders Brewery.